Hi everyone, it's me again, Teacher Will, and welcome back to Statistics and Probability Subject. This is the first video of Module 4, Sampling and Sampling Distribution. And for today's video, we will learn about um, random sampling and the parameter and the statistics. So as you can see in um, research, in different fields, you want to learn about the population and describe its um, properties and characteristics. However, it is um, very impossible or at least impractical to obtain data from the whole population. That's why um, sampling has been a very important part of statistics and research. So let's begin our lesson by recalling the definition of population, um, sample, and sampling. I know na encounter nyo na tong mga terms na to during your um, junior high school statistics. So let's start. Yeah, so, yung, ano nga ba ang population? So it is the totality of subjects under consideration. So, ito yung pangkalahatang bilang ng inyong mga subjects under your research or study. So, maaring ito ay tao, or then animals, or objects, or situations. So, depende kung ano yung inaaral ninyo under your study or experiment. Okay? So, ano naman ang sample? It is the portion chosen from a population. So, maaring maliit lang siya o malaking bahagi ito ng pangkalahatang bilang ninyo o ng mga population ninyo. So, next, the process of taking sample. So, ito naman yung tinatawag natin sampling. So, um, ito yung pinaka-vital, isa sa mga pinaka-vital part ng ating, um, ng isang research or study na kung saan um, we should be um, very wise o careful sa pagpili talaga ng sample. So, again, yung sampling natin, ito yung proseso na kung saan you are taking samples from the population. And yung pinaka-common na sampling na ginagamit sa research ay tinatawag natin random sampling. It is a sampling technique in which each member of the population has given an equal chance to be chosen as part of the sample. So, um, the lottery method, rolling lots, or the use of random numbers can be used to accomplish um, random sampling. Let's take a look of this example, so population and sample. Yeah, so una, all likely voters in the next election. So all, lahat, that is our population. And when we get a portion from this population, yun na yung tinatawag natin sample. So for example, 100 voters, nangili tayo at random for an interview. So yun yung ating sample. Next, all parts produced today. So, yan po yung ating population, all parts na na-produce ngayong araw. And, for example, we want um, to test if there are um, chance of having the, the effective. And so, we will choose or we will get a few parts, let's say, um, 10 parts lang at random. So, yun yung tinatawag natin, sample. Next, all sales receipts for November. And for example, we want to select for um, for an audit. So, mamumuha lang tayo ng uh, portion dyan sa lahat ng receipts natin. So, let's say um, we get um, random 15 receipts. So, yun yung ating sample. Of course, dito sa ating um, population and sample, we can obtain some data that will describe yung ating whole population and as well as that will describe our sample. So, ano kaya ang tawag sa mga data? So, the parameter or quantity that describes the population is what we call the other parameter, while the measurement or quantity that describes the sample is called the statistic. So, natitignan niya yung ating table. Ayan. So, ito yung mga um, commonly na notation na ginagamit natin in describing population and sample. Ayan. So, sa mga sample natin, we use um, this symbol for the mean. And ito naman yung ginagamit natin for variance and for the standard deviation. And also in proportion, we use um, this symbol, p hat ng tawag dyan. And um, sa population naman, ito yung mga notations na madalas natin ginagamit. Ito, yan, kasi uh, familiar kayo dyan, mean, population mean. Yan. So that is the new um, symbol. And ito naman sa population variance. And that is a sigma squared. And um, sa standard deviation, population standard deviation, ito naman ang notation, that is a sigma. And for the proportion, and ganyan lang siya, 30. And kapag yung sample proportion kasi ito siya, may hat siya, yun sa taas. Yeah. 
Okay? Yan. So, observe natin itong ating illustration dito. As you can observe, when we want to take sample and obtain sample statistics from the population, that is what we call sampling. While when we want to obtain sample data, and sample data to determine the population parameter, yeah. that is what we call estimation. And we will learn more about estimation on our next on the next chapter. Kaya for this module, um, uh, focus mo tayo sa ating uh, mga sample data. Okay, so let's let's have some examples on how we identify parameter and its statistics. Example number one, in order to test the effect of the new drug against the coronavirus to humans, 20 patients were given the dose. After a minute, it was found that the body temperature in average decreased by 2 degrees Celsius. So, area A, are the 20 patients mentioned above population or sample? And letter B, is the Two degrees Celsius decrease in the body temperature considered parameter or statistics. So, yung letter A muna tayo. Yan. 20 patients. Yun yung ano yan? Population or sample. Yan. 20, 20 patients are considered sample. Kasi hindi naman lahat yan. Napakaraming patients ng um, coronavirus. At yung 20 patients lang yung kanilang pinili, which is a part of your um, whole population. Kaya considered lang siya as sample. Okay, next. Yung 2 degree um, Celsius decrease in body temperature. Anong describe na? Yung sample ba natin o yung buong population? Of course, ang describe niya ay yung ating 20 patient. Kaya ito ay, since ang 20 patient is a sample, ito ay is statistic. Sample number 2, the average score of the whole class of grade 11 youths from their performance task in general mathematics is 28.2, having 30 points as the total score. Okay, una, is the whole class weighted population or sample? Of course, that is considered a population. Letter B, 22.2 average score. Is that considered a parameter or is that a statistic? So, 22.2 na score ay ang describe niya ay yung score ng lahat. Um, from the population, and so yung whole class. And so therefore, ito ay parameter. Okay? Example number three, 47 out of the 100 athletes were checked on their height. The variance of their height is 3.4 centimeters. Are the 47 students a population or sample? Mm -hmm. Of course, that is sample. Portion lang siya nung buong population natin na 100 athletes. Okay? That is a sample. And yung 3.4 cm variance naman is of course considered as a statistic. Kasi yung um, data na yan, ang dinidescribe niya ay yung 47 athletes natin. And so last example na para yan. So let's have these exercises. Determine if the given subject is population or sample. Then describe if the given quantity is a parameter or statistics. So number one, the average grade of the whole class under study is 82.15. So buong class siya, so ibig sabihin, that is um, population. Yeah. Next, average grade to the 82.15. Siyempre, Ang describe niya ay yung ating whole class. Average grade daw na whole class. So, therefore, that is, which is a population, kaya ito ay parameter. Okay. Next, 50 out of 200 animals in the zoo were taken and checked on their weight. So, the variance of their weight is 12.5 kilograms. Ano daw tong 50 animals ito? Ayan, kung makikita nyo, 50 out of 200. 200 animals daw lahat ang nasa zoo. Yun yung kabuong bilang. Ngayon, kumuha ka lang ng 50. So, therefore, itong 50 animals natin ay ang ating sample. At yung nakuha daw na data from the 50 animals ay 12.5 kg. So, itong variance ng 12.5 kg ay statistics. Kasi yung data ay nanggaling sa ating sample. Next, 
the standard deviation of the lifespan of a species endemic in the Philippines is 2.2 years. A species endemic in the Philippines, so it is talking about sa buong Pilipina. So therefore, automatic that is um, our population. Yeah. And of course, itong 2.3 years, it describes yung our thing population, kaya ito po ay parameter. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kadali. Parameter, kapag ang describe niya ay population. Population siya kapag it is the totality. And, um, sample siya kapag portion lang siya ng inyong population. Statistic siya kapag ang describe niya ay ang inyong sample. Okay? Alright, so that's all. That's all for our, um, first video or first topic of our sampling and sampling distribution. So make sure to hit the notification bell to get updated with our lessons. Bye!